All right, I know that your intention was we were going to take our line work and put it into Photoshop to fill in the color. However, because Adobe products change and update every year, and that tutorial being somewhat dated, it was just kind of a nightmare to navigate and try to figure out a new way to do it. So just for the sake of this project and your sanity, I decided that we're just gonna stick in Illustrator to do the color. Now there's two ways that we can go about this. If you have a lot of really intricate shapes like here in my glasses, um, I would highly recommend going in here getting your selection tool by pressing V on your keyboard, selecting your shape, then going over here for your eyedropper, you can also select I on your keyboard and that's gonna bring up the eyedropper. And just filling in those shapes. Now, the second way of going about this is going to be very similar to what we did with the hummingbird with the exception of first and foremost you're going to start out by finding your gradient tool on the right hand side of your screen and then we're going to find gradient so that's going to be this is what it usually um, defaults, right? You have a white fill, a black stroke. However, obviously I've been playing with this quite a bit here. So for the hummingbird, we would select the shape first and then fill in the color. We're gonna flip that. So for example, here, I'm gonna click over here. Nothing is selected on my artboard, right? I can double click eyedropper and I'm going to pick one with some like range in color so for example I'm looking at this shape right here trying to find kind of the the lightest hue or shade oh all right that's pretty good and then double click because I would like this one to be my darker color okay now that I have the colors that I want set, I know which shape I want to put those in. Again, I'm going to select tool or V. Selecting that shape and then clicking over here. Again, I want my shadow to be over here, right? Because my highlight is on her forehead. I'm just figuring out what looks best, right? Again, clicking out so nothing is selected. I want to do the one next door. I'll click eyedropper. I'm trying to find I have a highlight in here. Double click on my shadow using the eyedropper. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And next, hitting V or your select tool, selecting that shape. Again, figuring out what fits for that. Then at the end, we're going to take away the stroke. So all those white lines will disappear and you can kind of see Oh, that makes a nice gradient. I would recommend this process for larger shapes. If your shapes are getting pretty small, smaller than this area right here, I would say save yourself the time and just use the fill. All right, I hope that was helpful. Let me know, okay?